Hey guys, um, I'm back doing another video, and I decided to do it on the Leatherman that I got last year. I've had it for about six, seven months now. Well, I got it last year for Christmas, so I've had it for about six months. Um, this is the original box it comes in. Leatherman, Leatherman.com, Leatherman, it's Oregon Proud, straight from Portland, Oregon. This is an actual Leatherman, it's not a knockoff or anything like that. It's got the, their address and everything right here, in case I have a problem and I can send it back, because these do have a lifetime warranty. Um... This is the fuse model, and it, right there it says it comes with a premium sheath, it's kind of fuzzy, but let's open the box. Okay, when you open the box it should look like that. My sheath's a little dirty because I actually use it, but... Here it is. This is a uh, multi tool. Um, it says Leatherman Fuse right there. You open it up. Right here's length and centimeters. Other side, inches. Um, this is Leatherman right there. It's got the wire cutters. Need one of those pliers. With the, I think they consider it the wrench right here. Put a bolt in, turn it. I'll look in the instructions. Hold on. Okay. This is all the this is the information and all that. This is all like how to assemble it and disassemble it. But this this comes standard with all Leatherman multi tools that they do have. See, it's got the skeletals, super tools, the surges, the waves, kicks. The fuse, which is what I have. Yeah, it's got all the charges, the wave, the blast, the crunch. Never mind. My bad. It's considered the regular pliers. I thought it was a wrench. Sorry about yeah. that. And did you remember to get any for your dad this year? Oh, no. But this... Now this Father's Day, when you buy any <coughs> Excuse me. This Leatherman... It has... The needle nose... The regulars... Wire... Cutters with the hard wire cutters too. Right there. These things are dirty. I, I use these almost every day. Didn't think about cleaning it off before I uh, started telling you about it. It does have 
just a regular knife, which I'm not sure what steel it is, what kind of steel. It's really... Hold on. It's sharper than hell. I haven't had to sharpen it. Well, I can't say that. I sharpened it once because I left my fillet knife at home fishing and I had to use this to fillet my fish. It did a great job since we weren't doing huge fish. We were only catching little bluegills and small catfish. But you guys probably don't want to hear about that. Some of you might, but it's not a real long blade, but it is a soft steel. When I sharpened it, it sharpened in a couple swipes with this, uh, I think it's tungsten carbide sharpener, I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure it's another kind of metal but it sharpened that it sharpened this like no other um it does have this one does come with the scissors a Phillips screwdriver which has come in handy a lot comes with the wire stripper and can opener can slash bottle opener all in one um, I'll get that out for you guys if I can I don't have fingernails right now it ain't gonna, it's kinda gonna be a pain to get it out well before that here's the scissors a little spring right there. These are nice. And everything on these lock into place. I don't know if you can hear that. You probably heard that, but yeah, everything locks into place. And to unlock it, what you do. Push that down and push what you want to go down. But mine still needs broken in because it's a stiff spring. I think it's going to take a year or two to get it to where it needs to be. It's probably around this upcoming Christmas. It'll be good. Not sure how much these cost. I think they're around 60 bucks. But right there's a can opener, bottle opener. And there's the wire stripper underneath of it. I've used it a couple times. I liked it. If you're in a pinch and you need a wire stripper, it's perfect. This is basically what these are made for, too. I know a lot of people that carry these in survival packs. Well, not this model. <clears throat> but they carry Leathermans in their survival packs with this in the wire stripper on them. And they've used it for a number of things. All the way from, like, taking bark off saplings. If, they good, if they're good enough, they can just to make rope and things like that. I know. And it's got the um large screwdriver or medium screwdriver. It's got a lanyard ring, which I don't know if anybody else has this problem. If they do have one of these I have this problem, the lanyard thing is like really a pain in the ass to get out it took a while for me to be able to work it out 
it might have loosened up. But yeah, it's loosened up over time, but when you first get it, this lanyard ring is tight in there, like bad. Um, like I said, it's got the rulers on it. Uh, I guess this one, this is the premium sheath. It's, it's a leather sheath. It's got the brass studs. Got a black button that says Leatherman. And what I don't like about it is this is split all the way down. It's got the holes in the bottom. But I noticed something when I first opened it, which kind of made me sad. Leatherman's a good American company. And this sheath that has Leatherman's stamp on it says, said, made in Mexico. I don't have any proof of that because I ripped it off because it pissed me off so much when I first seen it. Okay, yeah. Like I was saying though, this sheath right here is made in Mexico. And I don't know, to tell you the truth, how long it'll last with these brass rivets in here like this. And the construction it is if it was one piece construction this thing would last forever but it's two piece construction and I wish I would I'm not complaining any because it was gift really but I'd probably be much happier with the other sheath that's made out of nylon because it could get wet <laughs> I, don't, I think this will like fall apart if it gets wet. I'm not sure. I haven't got it wet yet. I've only got it muddy. But another thing that's kind of a downfall to it is again with this two-piece construction these pins right here when you put it in the sheath well that time it went in perfectly that's what it should look like in the sheath but like it gets caught these pins sometimes get caught up here on this these pieces of leather and it'll stick up and you can't shut you have to shake it. yeah you have to shake it before you get it to shut um this thing these do have lifetime warranty that's that's leatherman's quality they trust their product enough to give you a lifetime warranty on it um I would recommend this product to anybody that's interested in getting into this kind of stuff and needs one. Um, and that's, that's about it. See ya.